Hello, 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 my friends. How are you? I'm so excited to be back, to be back, to be back, to be back, to be back. Woo, woo. I don't know where I went that I'm so excited to be back, but I am. It's your girl, Hungry Mom and Me. Let's see, what do we have tonight? I'm pretty excited about this creation. Yes. Look at this, my friends. Doesn't that look really, really good? Now you probably think this is a pizza, right? Not so fast, guys. Nope. Nope. Not so fast. Listen. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You hear that crunchiness, my friends? Wow. Mmm. Mmm. I, for one, love crunch. I have the recipe for this up. Uh, either with this or along with it, excuse me, in the middle of a mukbang, yes. Hello? Hello? You like that? I answer the phone in the middle of a mukbang. Hello? Yeah. 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 The the one in the red is the best. Well, then get that. I'm in the middle of a mukbang. Go ahead. Just get whatever one you want for 20 cents difference. You know? Yeah, it's very good. That's the two ninety nine. Yeah, that's a good one. Probably about 10 or $12. All right, bye-bye. Who can guess what we were discussing? Anyone? That's my daughter. Tomorrow's Easter. We were discussing buying a ham. Which one was the better one? Oh my gosh. Mm, my goodness, goodness. This is absolutely delicious. Mm. Let's cut this up. Let's cut this up. I did bring a plate out for myself. I don't like plates, guys. Nope. Nope. Only since I've been doing the mukbangs. I don't like plates anymore. I don't know why. I like to do it like this. I like to act like um, a rebel. Eat right out of the pan or the pot. I'm telling you, when I seen other people doing that before, I would say, oh my God, that is so gross. Get a plate. Not so much anymore, my friends. You should have had a spatula to do it this with, but I don't. So, and 
It's very hot. Underneath this is a pizza stone, a hot pizza stone. So this is definitely staying hot. I'm going to put a little bit of my Valentina on. Not too much because, you know, I have that um, Mexican uh, Chipotle sausage. And that's pretty darn hot. I don't know if you've tasted that before. And it's pretty darn good. It really is. It's field roasted. The brand is field roasted and it is so good. So because it's so hot right now, it's going to fall apart. So we're going to do it with a fork right now, my friends. I want you to take a look at that. Look how nice that is. Go ahead and open wide and take that bite. Don't let it pass you by. Yum, yum. How was it? You know the deal. I'm going to eat the rest. Mmm. Oh. See what happens for being mean? For saying I'm going to eat the rest and not sharing? <gasps> oh my God! I dropped it all. That karma, when it goes around, it really goes around. Let's try it again, my friends. If Nino was here and that would have dropped, he would have said, yeah. He likes, he's, he's at the point right now where he's enjoying throwing food. And I'm trying to teach him. I don't know who's religious and who's not religious, but I tell him it's God's food. And it is. God God gave us that food. I'm not going to sit here and... But, you know, we shouldn't waste it. I don't know if he understands, but I have been teaching him since he could, he wasn't even talking, and I'm Catholic, teach their own, I don't care what religion you are. I am not, I don't judge anybody for anything, but anyway, that's what I was brought up, I am Catholic, and I have been teaching my boy, I have some pictures of God, um, Virgin Mary, and I call her Mama Mary. And baby knows them, and he's known them since he was very, very young. He knows the cross. He knows Jesus is on the cross. So, whoever says he's too young to understand about throwing food that God gave us that food I don't think so I try to teach him about God the best that he can understand I am a firm believer I don't care, like I said, what you are or who you are. 
but I do believe you need some sort of religion in your life in order to have faith, in order to believe, in order to make it through some really, really tough times in life. Stop. I think we've all probably went through really hard times at different times in our life. And if you haven't, do not worry, my friends. They come. Whether we want them to or not. So, let's move on to some happy things. Like this pizza. Mm -mm -mm. This is Delicious is what it is. Mm. <laughs> wow. So delicious. I will get around to telling you eventually what this is, my friends. I want you to guess. Put it down below. What is it? What is your guess? Right now, comment and tell me what you think I'm eating. Don't wait to the end and you see what I'm eating. Comment now, let me know what you think. Can you tell? Giving you guys time to do that comment. Mmm. Until you tried something like this, you couldn't even imagine. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you have enough time? Did you write it down? Okay. If you're on my Instagram, you're already you will already know what it is because I put it on my Instagram. And if you haven't checked out my Instagram, please do so. I have up a lot of recipes up on there. Mm-hmm. A lot of different things I do during the day. I take a snapshot, you know, put it up. All right, my friends, I think you had long enough. I shall tell you. Mm.
Okay. What I started out with this morning, I said, hmm, that sausage is hot. But it's one of my very favorite sausages. It's vegan, guys. But I'm telling you, you cannot tell the difference. And yes, I'm not vegan anymore. I'm, I'm, no title. I have no title for this girl, for this woman. I just am who I am and that's all that I am. I'm like Popeye. If you know Popeye, Popeye says I am who I am and that's all that I am. I eat what I want, I do what I want. But even though I'm not considered vegan, because I do eat milk products and I will have meat once in a while. I still eat a lot of vegan food. Why? Because I really enjoy it. For no other reason, well, well, for a couple other reasons, of course, health-wise and all that. But I really like it. Mmm. Oh my goodness, my friends. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, it's as good as I say it is. Look. I have to tell you what it is now. It is a little messy. I'll grant you that. But. Because I made it vegan, everything in here is vegan. Um, because I made it vegan, it doesn't hold together as well. As like real cheese would, but it's still, you see, it's still formed. It's still, if this was cold, 100%. It would be solid held together but this is macaroni and cheese for the crust of the pizza and I put um, about a I don't even want to say a quarter of a cup about an eighth of a cup of panko breadcrumbs and my, my mac and cheese, if you know how to make mac and cheese vegan, I use potatoes and cashews and carrots. But you don't have to do that. You can use, you know, make a regular one without it being vegan and use Velvina, Velveeta cheese, or any kind of cheese that you want. Um, so I baked it in the oven. I let it get crispy. Let it form up together. I put a little bit more breadcrumbs on top. And some cheddar daya cheese and then um, after it was baked up the crust I layered it with sauce spaghetti sauce macro you know pasta sauce and 
Then I put mozzarella, Deia mozzarella, and I put my sausage. And I'm telling you, this is fantastic. Mm -mm. And I'm not just saying that, my friends. See? This is holding together well. You try this macaroni and pizza. Macaroni pizza. It is something else. A little bit more of a little vita. I mean a little bit more uh, Valentina. I was going to say Velvita. Velvita. I haven't had Velvita in a very long time. The crunchiness on the ends of the pasta is like unbelievable. So good. I'm going to tell you another reason that I eat vegan that I enjoy the vegan products I always suffered from severe not just some severe migraines I missed many a holidays my friends for migraines. And by eating vegan, you know, if you're a sufferer of migraines, you don't want to eat preservatives, you don't want to eat any kind of chemicals that are foreign to your body. And by eating organic Everything is natural. And I was really able to control my migraines by eating vegan. Any of you guys have problems with your, your head migraines or anything like that? Try eating without all those preservatives and see if it doesn't help mm. I ate almost half of this already goodness gracious I am definitely getting full and I definitely have to drink some of my water. Mmm. When you make mac and cheese like this, what is in, in it to hurt you? What is in there to make you feel bad about yourself is absolutely zero potatoes onions carrots some cashews absolutely nothing so for me It is a plus for me. Who would think that you could make such a great pizza out of mac and cheese? Yum, yum, yum.
Boy, I'll tell you one thing. My little boy, Nino, is really turning off from vegan food. You know, at home, he eats normal. He has a normal diet. You know, like we all used to eat or still do eat when, before we started thinking about it, I guess you might want to say. And mac and cheese that I used to make this way was his favorite. He would eat bowls of it. He's seen the package of cheese the day of. He loves cheese. And he said to me, have some, have some. Okay. You want cheese, baby? Okay. So I gave him some of the day of. No way. He literally spit it out. <laughs> I mean, it's not funny, but it's crazy. And then I gave him my macaroni and cheese. And I gave him ketchup on the side that he normally likes. And he's getting to be such a big boy, he's really starting to talk now he took a bite of it and he said hate it I said did you just say hate it he said yes Gotta remember. He has two older sisters. He learns a lot. From them. But when he, he says things to me, he just amazes me. Why? Why? Don't do that again. It's not nice. Why? Whoever has brothers and sisters or who has babies, once they hit two years old, oh. They question everything. That's when they start throwing tantrums. And everything is no. They call it the terrible twos. My daughter called me today. She said, Ma. He's getting so ornery. I said, I know. Said, I didn't have this with my other kids. How do you think I should correct them? I said, he's got to start getting timeouts. She said, that's going to be a joke, trying to give him a timeout. Yeah, but it's what you got to do. You put him down, he gets up. You put him back down, he gets up. You wind up getting more exercise than he does. But you have to be very, very consistent with it. Can't let
let him get away with it. Even though he just turned two years old, I don't think that you can let him. He understands, I think. I think he's... As much as a two-year-old can understand. Children are not easy. You know they're all different. How they, how they grow up and how they act. And But he's a good boy at heart. He is. He's just turning two. So he's ornery. He's full of energy. God bless. And you know. They start fighting for their independence. They want to learn. Their little minds are full of why? So, my friends, it was so nice talking to you again tonight. Give this pizza a try. It is one heck of a pizza. I kid you not. Try this recipe, my friends. So... Until I see you again, thank you for coming into my home and thank you for allowing me into your home. It has been definitely a pleasure and that little bell that's right there, give that a ring-a-ding-ding -ding. so every time I get have new videos up, you'll get a notification. And until tomorrow, until you see my next video, may God bless you, and I'll be seeing you.